I always have a problem placing my microphone, placing my microphone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's Bazzy and Planty. Hello, you're up. It's Bazzy coming right at you with Elo Vlog number three. 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 If you haven't watched any of these videos before, let me give you the rundown. Basically, I talk into the microphone and look into the camera and talk about general stuff that is not original nor very applicable because they're very theoretical and just, you know, about attitude and stuff like that. And, uh, wow, talk about not selling it at all. <laughs> you must be so psyched to watch this. No, but I talk a bit about my experiences in the solo queue and I do it to sort of inspire you guys to sort of approach the games with a mentality that makes the games fun for you, which is, at the end of the day, what League of Legends should be all about. Cheers, lemonade. Get your hands off my lemonade, man. I'm onto you. No, I'm just kidding, give me a kiss. Okay, so in this one, I'm gonna give you my opinion on the, like, professional scene in comparison to the unprofessional scene and what correlations it has with each other. Can you say that? I think you can. So, we're all watching the pros, right? We watch uh, live streams, we watch commentaries, we watch the LCS, we watch we watch everything, right? Because not only is it entertaining to see a very, very high-skilled player play a champion that you find interesting, but it can also teach you about how to execute certain moves and how to think about setups and everything that is League of Legends. A lot of the professional streamers are realizing this and they, they are informative when they talk, so they actually give us the insight as well, which can be super delightful for the viewers. So that is always fine and dandy. So the professional scene of League of Legends has a huge huge perk overall because it gives the community information, insight, maybe even motivation and, and a lot of cool stuff. Now, in my opinion, there is, however, another side of the matter, which is the professional players become role models. That in itself is awesome. There's also a bit of a backside to that. Now, I'm not gonna say anything because these guys are professional computer gamers. That's what they do. So I'm not saying like they should be telling kids like, do your homework and uh, eat healthy. But there's a lot of professional players not really thinking that what they say might impact so many in so many ways within the community. One of the most cleanest examples would be if someone dies in the top lane and you're playing jungle, it's okay to rage at them. And again, I, I, won't, I really want to point out that I don't think it's the pro player's responsibility. I'm just merely pointing out what I think is a, a sort of like a cause and effect type thing. Like a lot of professional players are really good at pointing out where their teammates are going wrong. This is a good thing because you can learn from that. But it's also a bad thing because it sort of indulges that type of analysis towards the normal player, like me for instance. And you know, all this stuff is something that they can do, because most of the times they play flawlessly, in comparison to us. But if you are like me, not a professional player, you make a lot of mistakes, you engage wrong, you do things not at a professional level, then you really are constricting your progression towards becoming better. Because like I've said in previous vlogs and so many times on the stream, getting better is all about you. You have to look at yourself. Why? Because it's the only thing you can change. Yes, mid might feed and be like freaking 09 10 minutes into the game, but that's irrelevant towards you becoming a better player. And while we all know that people saying, I always get bad teammates, are talking shit, I suggest not even arguing towards that. I suggest saying, yeah, that's how it is. Everyone gets stupid players who don't know how to play, and the players who can win regardless of that fact are the ones who are good enough to be considered pro. Okay, and I'm, I'm not saying that like full out, that's how it is, but I'm just saying that's the mentality that gets you better. Because you will not get better raging at a mid laner. You will not get better saying, GG, the jungler just died at his own blue, and here I am needing a gank and I can't get any. You will only get better if you say, the jungler just died, what could I have done to stop it? How shall I now approach my lane knowing that I cannot get any support from my jungler and I am pushed towards my turret? What items should I build instead of the usual build that I build every single game? I, I guess I'm rambling again, but I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to get across here. We are not professional players. We don't have the muscle memory and the skill to perform perfectly every single game, and thus you should not be looking at other people's mistakes, unless you're looking at them to learn from them. I don't know, man. Most of the times when I record these videos, I, I, I talk for a long time and then I stop for a second and think like, have I, have, I got, have I made a point here at all? I don't know, but hopefully I have. Now, a while ago I hit Diamond 5. As you guys know, I started off at Gold 5, I think. And yes, I've had frustrated games. And yes, I've had bad teammates. But I also think that one of the key factors is that I've been able to approach my own gameplay in an objective way. Because that is so important, at least for me, when I try to get better at League of Legends. And I hope that I don't freaking have to point out that I'm not a professional player and I'm not particularly skilled. Hell, a lot of you guys are probably better AD carries than I am. I don't know, I've been rambling now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Uh.
that was not what I was going to say. Approach the solo queue games with the focus of improving yourself. Look at yourself. Nay, look critically at yourself. Don't be too confident in that you are the most OP player in this game. And try, I say try because I know it's hard for a lot of you guys, to ignore the douchebags, the fails, the bad players around you. And I almost guarantee you, with enough time, with enough practice, you will notice that you're getting better. Oh, uh, I hope I can cut this into some sort of sense here on my computer, I don't know. Anyways, please, let me know what you think of this video by rating it, thumbs up or down. You can add it to your favorites, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter, and you can also subscribe so you don't miss anything coming out in the future. And that is it. This has been Spazzy. And I am out. Do it!